welcome to course 170. This is our introduction to SQL Server 2012 course. This is a full comprehensive introduction. We're going to cover all the major areas of SQL Server. We're going to have hands-on experience playing with all the different parts. And it's really what I would consider a view of SQL Server 2012 from, you know, 30,000 feet, 20,000 feet, a high-level overview of the whole product, right? Now, let, let me kind of just make sure we understand one thing. This is a course, okay? This is not a collection of uh, tutorials or a couple of how-to things here and there. This is a full-blown course. It's really meant to be the exact same experience you would get if we were in a classroom together. Okay, so if you came in on Monday, 9 a.m., and we were going to class Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, this is the experience. We're going to take you from point A to point Z. We're going to cover all the big areas of SQL Server. The coverage is at the beginning and intermediate level predominantly. We are going to have spikes to the intermediate and advanced throughout the course and specifically later on in the course. This is really an ideal course for somebody who is migrating to SQL Server 2012 from maybe a prior version of SQL Server. It's also perfect for somebody who is new to SQL Server. Maybe you're coming to SQL Server from Access or Oracle or MySQL, DB2, et cetera. Okay. Um, a lot of people also will ask questions about taking some of the Microsoft certifications, and this is a good start down that path. We're not going to cover a particular certification, but the information that you need to get any of the SQL Server 2012 based certifications starts here. Okay, so it's a good starting point. For those of you who have taken courses with me in the past, the, 25, uh, the 2005, the 2008, uh, there's a lot of what's new in this course as well. Now let's take a look at the chapter listing. Like I said, this is a course. We're going to be going through these 17 chapters just like we would be in a five day course here. And that's a lot of, of chapters, right? 17 chapters. Let's kind of break them down here. In orange, what you see. This is the chapters that everybody needs to pay attention to. What is SQL Server? What is Analysis Services? What is Integration Services? What is Reporting Services? What are the major areas? Why do we use SQL Server versus Access, et cetera, okay? The basics. Okay? Now we get into the blue section next. This is the database administration section of the course. If you want to learn backups, server security, uh, how to create databases, how to make jobs, how to, uh, what clustering is, that kind of thing, that's your database administration, right? The green section would be your development, queries, um, stored procedures, triggers, right? SQL developers. We're kind of back to... Uh, the DBA for Chapter 13, for database security, we needed to have an understanding of the different objects, stored procedures, tables, triggers, etc., before we could really talk about securing those objects. Right? And then the final four chapters, the ones in yellow, these would be your BI section, the business intelligence section of the course. Okay? 17 chapters, five days of in-classroom time, right, because we're kind of emulating a live class experience here does a lot to cover <laughs> i know it is a lot i probably overwhelmed some of you by saying how much material we're going to cover and then there's probably those of you who are like totally stoked and you're like yeah man that's gonna be awesome can't wait let's dive into it okay let me just give me i don't know maybe like five ten minutes and and i want to walk you through the specifics of the course what our goals for this course are uh, talk to you a little bit about the types of videos, how the course works. I consider this course a gateway. Okay, This is, if you want to get into database administration, this is the start. If you want to get into being a developer, a query writer, a project manager, business analyst, this is the starting point for working with SQL Server 2012. Okay? It's not going to be the only training you need to accomplish any one of these tasks, but it's the right starting point. It's going to give you all of the basics. Now, if you haven't taken one of my courses before, let me give you the format. The video we're watching right now would be what I would consider a presentation style video. 
This is just like we are in the classroom together and I have a PowerPoint slide deck that I'm going through, right? And you're able to hear me. You're able to see me do uh, the little uh, slides. You're able to see me draw on the screen and I can, you know, make little box faces or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, it's just like being in the class. The only difference, you can't see my shiny, happy face, right? Now, later on in the course, we'll get into the demos. This is where we actually do it. So we don't just talk about how to do a backup. We actually do a backup, and you watch me. I take you through the screens, and I explain all the different nuances uh, about that particular piece of the puzzle. And then we also have our exercises, labs, hands-on exercises, whatever the right terminology is. Uh, it, it's designed to give you experience performing that particular task, right? It's the exact same setting as if we were in a live classroom. That's my goal for this course, to give you the exact experience. Okay? And I think it's about five full days of material. That's kind of, after I sat down and did the design, I kind of backtracked from there and I figured it's about five days worth of stuff. Now, the videos that we're going to have, we are going to make each video somewhere between five and 20 minutes long on average. They'll probably be 12 to 15 minutes on average. Uh, they will cover a specific topic. There will be a video on the three types of backups. There will be a video on Windows logins versus SQL Server logins. And it will be 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, et cetera. Okay? Overall, we're probably going to have 150 to 200 videos that make up the entire 17 chapters of the course. Okay? They're strung together in a point A to point Z. You're meant to take them in order, just like you would have sat in a classroom. Okay? Now, let me just kind of give you an idea of what we're going to cover here. Uh, we're going to start down here, and I'll just, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sloppy at handwriting, but you'll get used to it after <laughs> working with me. Now, down here, we have the database engine. Okay? Now, it's bad E. So this is called the DE, or the database engine. This is the core SQL Server product that you're probably familiar with. Right? In yellow, we'll put in here SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Services. And by the way, if you aren't familiar with reporting services or the database engine, it's totally cool. That's what you're here to learn. I'm kind of giving a little bit of information here for those people who do know this information and want to learn a little bit more about what's in the course for them. Okay? So don't get intimidated if some of the terms I throw initially kind of maybe not what you're familiar with. Uh, next up, we would have Integration Services, SSIS, SQL Server, SS, SQL Server, Integration Services. Okay? And then we would have SSAS. You know what that one is? Analysis services. Okay? And you can actually group these together. The top three, the reporting services, integration services, analysis services, would be the BI part of SQL Server, business intelligence. Okay. More on that later. I just for those of you that know, right? It's good to see that. Like I said earlier, this is a view of SQL 2012 from 30,000 feet. Now, I also think of this as a breadth course, not a depth course. Okay? We're not going to do deep dives into any specific technology. We're going to show you at an intro level all the basic components. And I kind of joke with people when I teach this in a live setting that the way we go, we have 17 chapters, we have five days to cover that material, and the way we're going to do it is I'm going to show you all these awesome features. We're going to do an exercise. You're going to get totally into it, and you're going to want to know all kinds of more information. You're ready to go deeper and deeper, and then we're off and talking about the next thing. <laughs> I mean, that's the way intro courses work, right? You start talking about it. You get into it. You get excited about it. But we have kind of a lot of stuff to cover, so we have to deal with this at a breadth level, okay? So not at a depth level. Now, we'll have a lot of the exercises, a lot of the labs, so that you get hands-on experience. I personally, I probably learn the most by breaking stuff and having to fix it. So you'll get your chance to break stuff and have to fix it. Okay? 
And by the end of the course, you're going to have experience with all the different facets of SQL 2012. And you're probably going to want to go into more depth on the areas that you like. For example, database administration, development. Okay? Before we go into that, one thing. Some people will inevitably ask this. What are the prereqs for this course? Well, there's not a lot. Okay? This particular course, it's an intro level at the beginner to intermediate level, right? So you don't have to know a lot. It would help if you knew about databases. Tables, columns, and rows. That's all I need you to have. I'll teach you what primary keys are. I'll teach you what foreign keys are if you don't know what that information is. Okay? Access, Excel, totally fine. Okay? So you don't have to have a ton of experience. Now, you see Course 170. We're the big circle in the middle. The other eight circles represent courses on 2012 that are depth courses. Okay? So Course 170, that's this course that we're in right now, the intro. That's our breadth course. We're going to show you all about every little piece of SQL Server. Okay? But it is an intro level course. It's at a high level. You want to get into the depth, that's where these other courses come into play. Okay? You want to learn how to actually implement clustering. Okay, so like I'll talk to you about it in course 170, but we won't actually do clustering. It's an intro level course, right? Well, then you would simply come over here and say, okay, Scott, what's the course that talks about how to actually implement clustering? Well, that would be the high availability disaster recovery course. Or you want to learn about cube design and learn about measures and dimensions. We'll talk about what those are in this course. We may even have some hands-on exercises, but we're not going to go into depth on it, right? That's when you would need to come down here and say, okay, well, I want to get the analysis services course. So these are other courses that Learn It First has specific to SQL 2012, okay? All right? All right. I think you kind of get the idea. I don't want to beat it into your head there. All right, so just real quick, who are you listening to? My name is Scott Wiggum. I've been working with SQL Server for a long time. I've been a trainer, consultant for years on just about every aspect of the SQL Server space here. Um, I would be considered by my family uh, at least a soccer junkie. <laughs> uh, and I do play the guitar, so the parts of the guitar that you hear that are recorded, uh, they're my little hacky attempts at playing and having fun. <laughs> Uh, so a little bit more about what's in the course. If you go to the Learn It First website, which I do have uh, listed the link right there, then you're going to be able to have an online index. So you can just search using keywords. We try to index all the major parts of every video so that it makes it easy for you to reference that later on. Uh, there are free videos available. There's PDFs available online that have checklists um, you also can get the course files, the script files, the exercise files. Um, I would ask that you watch the introduction. I know that not everybody reads the introduction of a book or likes to participate in the introduction of a course, but I think that this is going to be a good section for you, particularly if this is your first course to take from me. We'll talk about using this course effectively, how it's arranged, and how the exercises are designed to help you. Okay? One of the big areas we'll also cover is what operating systems that I'm going to use versus what you're going to use. Uh, same thing with the SQL Server editions. Can you use this course with Express? Can you use it with Developer? Okay, we'll talk about all of that kind of stuff. And another area that I like to talk to people about, particularly people just starting out in the SQL Server space, would be professional development for SQL Server. Right. Should you get a certification? What books are good to go with this course? What other courses should you uh, consider? Are there user groups in your area? You know, I like to talk about that uh, with people. Uh, one of the things that you'll get used to is in the presentation style videos, I will have this little guy here with our crystal ball uh, that tells us about the next video. Remember, every video is anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes long. So we'll talk about one specific thing. And then we'll go on to the next one. So in the next video, we'll talk about how to use this course effectively. 